October is not a month of just ghosts and goblins. It is a month where we're acknowledging and honoring the Holy Ghost. You know, the Holy Ghost can be found in the very first book of Genesis chapter number one, when it says this, that in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was without firm and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep. But it says this, but the Spirit of God, that's the Holy Ghost, was hovering over the face of the waters. Then God said, let there be light, and there was light. Years ago, I had a dream that in this dream, I was drowning. It looked like the Chip Channel Bridge here in Houston, Texas, that I was in this massive pool of water. I was in a, in, a, in, a, in a body of water that was so overwhelming. And as I came from that dream, it was a season where I was in a situation that was overwhelming for, uh, for me and for my life. But let me say like this, according to this scripture right now, when things seem to be out of order, when things seem to be overwhelming, guess what? The Holy Ghost is right there hovering over your life and in your situation. And here's my, here's my advice to you. Whatever you're going through today, begin to speak the Word of God, the promise of God. Guess what? You'll spend just as much time talking ne negative over your situation as you can spend speaking and declaring the Word of God. And I believe as you decree the promises of God, the Holy Ghost is going to take that Word and begin to manifest it in your life. Let's honor the Holy Ghost this month.